Oil drives you crazy. Oil corrupts politics. Oil buys politicians. Some scientists are indicating we should make plans to adapt to a four degree hotter world. While prudent, one wonders what portion of the population could adapt to such a world. My view is that it's just a few thousand people seeking refuge in the Arctic or Antarctica. Business as usual means about four degrees warmer, which is approximately one ice age in the opposite direction. So this is really, really huge. And I need to stress this, that the Paris Agreements is not a walk in the park, it is half an ice age in the other direction. One example that Martin raised in terms of sea level rise, based on today's temperatures, we are going to hit two meters of sea level rise, no matter what. Half a billion people are affected in India alone. Most of Europe will ex experience about four degrees of warming by the end of the century, which is pretty disastrous. 2017 was a record high for fossil fuel CO2 emissions. We have to move to decarbonizing the world energy system. And that means a lot of the known fossil research needs to stay in the ground. We really need deep sustained cuts right now. Previous speakers have made clear that we're coming into a very difficult time. We are in a race against time. It takes a double whammy to understand. It takes repeated shocks. Governments and the media simply cannot say that they did not know. What the hell are they thinking? We don't have time to speculate. We don't have time is absolutely correct. As we know, we don't have time. There's no more time. Yes, we don't have time. We use the hashtag. We don't have time. We don't have much time. We don't have time to wait. We don't have time, but we do have a way. This is the heroes on the ground. It is very simple, but it uh, continues to change lives uh, every day. So he came back to Stockholm and he was devastated by all the trash he saw. So while I start picking trash while running. We have created the widest range of green burgers in the industry. We will carbon compensate every email being sent. Pope Francis made an urgent call to protect the people on Earth least responsible for climate change. We need a global movement that demands real change. It will not happen by itself. It's our ethical responsibility. We need clever policy frameworks. Lead by example to solve the climate crisis. There are not technological or economic barriers we're going to make it, but we're in the final stages of the political economy battle where corrupted politicians twisted by the interests of big oil are still resisting. It is the movements like we don't have time that will break the hammerlock of the oil industry and enable humanity to save itself.